So I'm going to share with you my Monday, Wednesday, Friday workout routine. This is part of my um, wanting to help you guys stay young and healthy, stay active. Um, so here is my warm up, and I'm going to be doing the same warm up three times. And I decided to record the whole thing so that you guys can follow along and actually work out with it. Um, this warm up <clears throat> actually got from Shanti. I don't know if you guys remember a while back, maybe 12 years ago. His, his insanity routine was kind of popular, maybe 15 years ago. Um, so I have kind of curated my routine from different people. You can see the ceiling is too low for this kind of jumping jack. <laughs> You're supposed to put your arms all the way up. Um, <coughs> anyways, um, I've curated my routine from different people. And this warm-up, I kind of borrowed from his insanity program. On some of these, I'll probably turn sideways, but obviously you don't need to turn sideways. I'm just turning sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And there I got distracted because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was thinking about doing this in sections and then trying to put it together. But I decided to just do it all together in one thing. Because I wasn't sure what my editing options were really going to be. This is my first time to use voiceover on iMovie. So I wasn't sure if they had voiceover here. These are 30 second, and I didn't really have a clock to make sure these are 30 second um, for each one. So I just was kind of counting thir to 30 in my head. <laughs> but these are supposed to be 30 second increments for each one of these. So when you get to the end, so that's the first warm up. Um, when you get to the end, you wanna just kind of walk around a little bit, drink some water, drink some Gatorade. Um, I alternate between Gatorade and water because when I was doing Insanity, I found that I would get really, really sick unless I used Gatorade during my workout. So now I just have both of them on hand and drink whichever one it feels like I should be drinking. <laughs> um, personally, my electrolytes go low, so that's why I need Gatorade as well as water. Um, and when I first started doing these, I did try to check my heart rate in between warm-ups and exercises because that's what Shanti recommended. And nowadays, I mean, I've been doing this routine for so long now that I just kind of walk until I feel like it's time to keep going. I don't even know what your heart rate is supposed to be. You'll have to Google it. <laughs> um, but you just don't want it to get too high, so that's why you don't just, like, push through the whole thing. I mean, that's my impression. I'm not an expert by any means. <laughs> I'm 
this is just what works for me, so I thought I would share it. Okay, so I'm going to go into the second warm-up. The ceiling is too low but this is the best place that I could find to do my workouts because my own house is way too crowded and tiny um, I don't have anywhere to put the camera where it can see what I'm doing but so this attic is like really nice for this my sister said I could use her attic on her project house that she's trying to sell since it hasn't sold yet um, to do these recordings Just turning to the side so you can see what this is. I might have modified some of these slightly from what Shanti's were. I don't know. It's been a long time since I looked at his, but there might be some modifications, but probably not a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I can add music to this or not. The thing about adding music for me is that my voice is so soft that people say they can't hear what I'm saying, so it's kind of a risk there. <laughs> and plus, I don't even know if I can add music. I think, I think they do have some music on iMovie, but it seemed like it was kind of lame for the most part. <laughs> might have to add your own music to this. So that is the second warm up. Going for some water or Gatorade. And I'm just gonna walk around until it feels like my heart rate is down enough to go into the next one. I feel like a lot of um, the workout routine videos, I mean, I guess I haven't looked at a lot of them, but it seems like a lot of the people I follow, like they'll show you like one thing. And of course, short form is really popular right now. But sometimes I'm like, I wanna do this with you, but you know, <laughs> I'm always doing something else or, and if I, I suppose I could add it to my current workout just try to do something that I see them doing but 
I just thought I would try to do like a full workout in case you want to just follow along and do it with me. Okay, so I think we're heading into the third warm up. supposed to be able to put your hands all the way up. I think I mentioned that. <laughs> Sometimes you have to make modifications based on how much room you have or where, what kind of space you're trying to work out in. Um, I forgot what was next because I was thinking about something else. <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe I should have locked the door because I don't want anyone to walk into the house while I'm working out. But then I was like, oh, well, God's got this. <laughs> when you're in such a big house, like, you wouldn't know if someone walked into it, right? But I decided it would be all right. <laughs> I mean, I live in such a safe town anyways. It's not like you have to lock anything. <laughs> but my mom has always been so paranoid about things. So I think about things like that. I haven't always lived in this kind of a town, so. It's nice to live in a small Midwestern farm town. Everybody knows everybody. <laughs> like that song says. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody calls you friend. Don't need an invitation. Kick off your shoes and come on in. Yeah, we know how to work and we know how to play. We're from the country and we like it that way. That's like the theme song of this town. <laughs> I've been here for a while now. You would think I would be used to living in a safe town, but like I said, I'm around my mom so much. <laughs> She's pretty paranoid. <clears throat> That was the end of the third warm up. Going for some water. Oh, I'm getting my dumbbells out of the. I'm getting my hand weights out of the bag. <laughs> I can't see because the recording thing is right over top of me. Getting my hand weights out because I'm ready for the main part of the workout. some drinkage. Oh, 
walking around to let my heart rate go down. Oh, excuse me, goodness. Okay, we're going into the main part of the workout. I'm looking around to try to <laughs> get in the right spot. I'm being extra careful not to bash the ceiling. <laughs> I remember how hard it was to put all those sheetrock and paint and oh my goodness in this space so I don't want to mess anything up so I'm being extra careful <laughs> with my hand weights this was a project that I do not want to repeat <laughs> at all so you go this way and then you switch and go the other way. And then you do squats with it. Sorry if my form is a little ghetto sometimes. I've never had anyone to like spot me and tell me how my form is, so. Yeah, I'm just turning sideways so you guys can see. Hopefully, better what I'm doing. Oh, by the way, I learned this. So, this main part of the workout, I learned from <coughs> at Lao Athlete, at Lao Athlete, that I follow on Instagram. His real name is Jay Sang, um, and he, I think it was during COVID, he gave like these 10 core workouts, and I think I kept eight of them, and then I added a couple of other things from that I learned from other places, because of just the tight spaces that I'm always working out in, I couldn't do those last two that he showed us, unfortunately. So I had to do something else. <laughs> uh, halfway into the main workout, I walk around. I walk around between each half set. So I'm going to do... So I did... The, that was half of the set. And then I'll do the other half of the set. And then repeat the whole thing three times. So here I am trying to make sure that I'm in the camera, <laughs> but I couldn't really see that well, so. And 
these V-ups are harder than they look. <laughs> so. But you can really feel it in your abs, even if my form isn't that fantastic. I think maybe your legs are supposed to be straighter than that. And I think I might have accidentally did it 15 times the first time because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but you, you, the, you do 10 reps of each one of these exercises. And then you do the whole set three times. <clears throat> Here I am turning just so you can maybe hopefully see kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, these are the two that I just pulled from somewhere else. I don't remember where. <clears throat> just so there would be 10 exercises in each set. And then, yeah, I kind of walk around in between half sets. Just so my heart rate won't go up too much. I don't really know. Just get a drink, get some water, get some Gatorade. tripped on that, um, what do you call it? The strip that you lay down to hold the carpet down. <laughs> we couldn't quite lay it in one piece, so we had to put that strip down. So this is the second set, the first half of the second set of the main part of the workout. You're supposed to keep the main part, keep your torso like as straight as you can during this exercise and just move your arms. I, I thought I was hearing something, but I think it was just me. Like this house, it has creaks and things, so I went to look out the window to make sure nobody was there because like she has a real estate agent that might show the house but it was pretty early in the morning it wasn't too likely that anyone would be there but I thought 
I'm just gonna make sure because <laughs> I just yeah I was like I hope there's no one else in the house so I went downstairs in between while I was walking around to lower my heart rate just to make sure that no one else was in the house and looked out the windows to make sure there wasn't any new cars around. And then I did end up locking the back door again. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long. This workout is supposed to take 45 minutes and I didn't know if I was going too fast because of recording, but it did end up being 45 minutes, so that's what it's supposed to be. There I am back again. No one was in the house, it was just me. <laughs> So on to the second half of the second set. Yeah, you have to lift your feet off the ground because this is for your abs. These are mostly core exercises, which core is really great for longevity and just overall health. For me, working out is not about losing weight because I realized a long time ago that it doesn't really do that. I mean, you have to eat a certain way also. Like they say, it's the 80-20 rule. So it's 80% what you eat and 20% your exercise. But I always wanted to work out and kept on working out because of it helps you stay young and healthy. And when I... When I lived with my brother, he was like, why do you work out? Because <clears throat> I think that was his mindset about it, like to lose weight. And in his mind, I was skinny. Um, but I told him I work out because to let my body know I'm not done with it because I still need it for things. <laughs> And that's always kind of been my mindset. Like, I can remember when I was younger, my dad taught me some basic workouts that you can do at home. And I remember him talking about his judo instructor's dad, I think. Or maybe that was his judo instructor. And he was really good friends with the son. It was his best friend's dad or something. Anyways, he was talking about that guy that he was 80 years old and he was still running. <clears throat> and I think that made an impression on me. Like, you just gotta stay active if you want to stay young and have a good quality of life until the day you die, you know. And that's always been a goal of mine. So that's why I work out and, I mean, it has other benefits too. A lot of benefits makes you feel better, you know, fights off depression and stuff. I have used it for that too in times past. When I worked at the nursing home, like I'm kind of empath and so I could feel it was so heavy. Like 
so many people that are in the nursing home are so depressed. It feels like they feel like they're in prison or something. And they didn't do anything to deserve it. <laughs> and it's just really... <clears throat> It was hard for me not to let that sink into me and it made me really sluggish and so I couldn't I I didn't feel like I was performing my job well enough so I ended up um, they do have a kind of a little gym in the basement of the hospital the nursing home the whole building it's a nursing home with the hospital on one side and um, so I just got in the habit of coming like a half an hour early so I could go down there and work out before my shift started just to try to fight off the depression that just is permeates the atmosphere there <clears throat> so I mean it is good for that too and plus I did gain some weight when I worked there <laughs> because serving tea and sometimes the residents want you to sit down and eat with them and we had some ladies that worked in the kitchen and they were really good at baking <laughs> so there was always so many things like that to eat and I gained weight and it scared me because I already was more than what I weighed when I was nine months pregnant so <laughs> which I used to be really scrawny so it's all relative but yeah that was the other reason I started working out just to maintain so that I wouldn't gain any more weight because that did scare me not sure where we're at because I was talking. I think we're in the middle of the last set, I believe, of the main part of the workout. Yeah, I worked in activities <clears throat> at the nursing home. So it was a little different than like if you're a CNA or working in the kitchen. Just hanging out with the people and trying to do fun things with them. And trying to comfort them <laughs> for where they're at. Try to help them. Try to put a smile on their face. And we did a lot of things with them. It was kind of a fun job, basically. Other than other people always being jealous of you and trying to t tell your boss how you should be doing your job. <laughs> it's like living in a bucket of crabs. I don't know if you've ever seen a bucket of crabs, but... We used to go crabbing when my son was really little. And, you know, you put him in a little... You put him in a five-gallon bucket with a little water in the bottom, and... After you have several in there, you can hear them just clacking around in there. They're all trying to get on top of each other to try to get out. <laughs> and then if one starts to get kind of a little bit high, the others grab them with their pinchers and pull them down. And they have kind of some more wounds from it. <laughs> it's crazy. That's what I felt like working in that nursing home sometimes. Everybody's trying to pull, it, pull you down if they think you're getting too happy or something. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, it was a pretty, pretty good job. Just like reading to them and playing the piano for them and doing devotions for them and calling bingo and doing their nails. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to put a smile on their face and make it a little better for them. Take them outside, go for a walk, take them, we'd take them on the bus sometimes to go somewhere. The ones that could. So 
so that I believe is the last set of the main part of the workout and then we're gonna do some stretching as soon as, as soon as I'm ready so you should walk around too in between and maybe take your heart rate and see and if you need to walk more you can always pause it but I think this is well, depending on where you're at with your health, I guess. <laughs> Everybody is different. Put my hand weights away. checking on the time <laughs> to see how I'm doing with my workout recording. Mm Okay, so now the stretching. This is the cool down, and it's really important to stretch um, after your workout. I don't know all the technicalities of it, but I'm told that it's really important. And I feel that it's important to stretch just to stay, you know, stay young, stay able to do things. And again, the ceiling is too low for this, but... <laughs> You just want to keep your body, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. So, you just want to keep it going. So, you just do this a few times so that you can touch the floor and get those legs stretched out and your back and everything. Just kind of showing you from the side. Yeah, and then just be really relaxed and come up like nice and relaxed. Then you're going to stretch like you're the one like I'm showing you from the side, but I don't know if that helped. <laughs> I'm going to stretch that one leg, the one that's um, out. So you're going to go this way, and you'll feel it in your calf on this first part. Showing you from the side. <laughs> And then you'll feel it in more in your thigh when you do this. I'll show you from the front. <laughs> you don't have to do all that turning. It's best if you don't, but I'm just showing you. And then stretching like this. really good and then you're gonna stretch your front leg and then um, 
you'll go to the middle again. Touch the floor in the middle. And then you'll go to your other leg. Just touching the floor in the middle still. <laughs> yeah, you come up really slowly. Just make sure everything's relaxed. Breathe. And then you go to the other leg. You feel it in your calf and then in your thigh. And then you stand up and stretch that leg, the front one. And then you go to the middle and you're just gonna put your arms like that so that you can just really relax into the stretch. And then you'll be able to touch the ground with your palms eventually, even if you can't right away, but that does help when you keep your arms like that and just kind of swing a little bit, stretches a little more so you can reach a little farther. And then this balancing part, <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> the balancing part is tricky. Every time you go to a different surface than what you're used to, it like messes with your balance. Um, and this carpet in this room has more padding than what I'm used to. So mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time keeping my balance in there. <laughs> but, um, I like these stretches that have the balance element to them because I feel like balance is also really important for staying young. Um, there seems to be some connection between balance and um, like your ability to learn new things. So it's good to keep your balance, your balancing skills up. My shorts are um, kind of in the way for this one, but <laughs> having a hard time with the being in a. I don't know where I got that bruise from, but I've been watching. I've been watching my sister's kids last week quite a bit, and we went to the playground and we went hiking, and I must have. I had a little scratch there where that bruise was. <laughs> can't keep my balance <laughs> um yeah I don't know what I hit it on I don't remember that's typical for me by the time the bridge shows up I don't remember what I did that made it unless it really 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 hurts I don't remember it <laughs> Okay, we got one more set of s balancing, stretching exercises, Two, just one on each side, so this, I call it like the Superman pose, <laughs> but you really feel the stretch in the leg that you're standing on, and it's really good for balance. And that is the end of the workout. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, 
I hope you try it. It's worked really well for me. So have a great day.